There are no television sets, radios, tape recorders, or record players. All of that is done by the central computer system, in which all of the world's music is housed in a central computer. You don't want records, tape recorders, all this junk that requires continuous maintenance. All you want is the music you like. You dial it and you get the music. You don't need to pick up records or store them. You live in an insane culture where we duplicate things. It's like having a television station in every home or every apartment building. All you want is the music or the program. You dial that, there's where the computers come in. They don't control you, they provide you with the but music. But you wouldn't need a set program. in the house to get the program. No. All you need is an image screen. An image screen? An image screen, a flat screen built in on the wall. You don't have a set sticking out. You don't have tape recorders. All you have is the music you like. Uh, who's going to pay for all this? Where's the money coming from? If you took all of the gold and all of the wealth of this country, all of the certificates of debt and all of the land ownership, all of the diamonds and rings, and dumped it off the coast of Japan, as long as you didn't touch the American way of thinking, our technology, and our resources, we would not be impoverished, impoverished at all. America's wealth is not its gold, is not its banking institutions. These are false institutions, but the entire money-structured and materialistic-oriented society is a false society. Since that time, I have watched humanity set the stage for its own extinction. I have watched as the precious finite resources are perpetually wasted and destroyed in the name of profit and free markets. I have watched the social values of society be reduced into a base artificiality of materialism and mindless consumption. And I have watched as the monetary powers control the political structure of supposedly free societies. I'm 94 years old now, and I'm afraid my disposition is the same as it was 75 years ago. This shit's got to go. I believe we have to declare all the Earth's resources as the common heritage of all the world's people, and to outgrow the monetary system, to make things available to people, all of the necessities of life must be made available. I believe actually if people have access to the necessities of life, meaning a relevant education, a decent home life, healthy foods available, and clean air and clean water and clean technology, those are the necessary ingredients to make it possible for global sustainability. If we fail to do that, I think we'll have a continuation of the same problems we've had for centuries. War, depression, recession, boom. We have to agree upon a set of values that will take care of everyone without any dominant group. Even the wealthiest people today would live better in a resource-based economy. We do not have enough money to house, build hospitals, take care of most human problems. But we do have more than enough resources, and that is why we emphasize a resource-based global economy. That if people have access, free access, to the necessities of life, crime would almost diminish to zero. Well, shouldn't an economy deal somehow with human need? Isn't that what the full fundamental issue is to satisfy uh, human needs? Oh, need isn't even in your lexicon. Uh, you dissolve it into wants. And what is a want? That means money demand that wants to buy. Well, if it's money demand that wants to buy, it's got nothing to do with need because it may be the person has no money demand and desperately needs, say, water supply. <laughs> Or it may be money demand wants a gold toilet seat. Well, where does it all go? To the gold toilet seat. And you call this economics? Like it's really, when one thinks of it, it's got to be the most bizarre uh, delusion in the history of human thought.